This is Peter at ntrealty.me and today we're in Sushipan, which is a, I don't know, a little suburb, a little village outside Herzegnovi. As you can see, we've got spectacular views over the, the bay in Herzegnovi, the entrance of the Boca Kotorska. Uh, in the distance, the small island you can see there is Mamalor Island. Uh, and then, uh, you can't see it now, but actually on the entrance of the bay you have uh, uh, Prevlaka, which is Croatia, and on the left you have uh, Fort Arza. So here we are in the bay, we're in a lovely kind of rural area, uh, we're in a uh, house uh, which is uh, divided into two, let's say it's uh, three bedrooms with two bathrooms on the, this area where we are now, and downstairs it has its own self-contained uh, one bedroom apartment, uh, fully functional. Lovely plot, about a thousand square meters, so let me show you around and you get an idea of uh, what you have here. So. Uh, in case you're wondering, this is what it's like in December in Montenegro. Not every day, but some days it's just like this. So just to show you over here, you, uh, uh, you have your drive entrance and then you have this kind of uh, covered area here for parking. Uh, it's also possible, but it's a bit more, more difficult to actually park on top. So if you have a party and you need to park several cars, then you, you certainly have the option to do that. Lots of mature fruit trees here. So I think in front of me is a cherry tree. As you can see here, we have a vine with a little bird's nest up there, and uh, there's uh, grapes. There's also the vine on this uh, by the lean-to here is a kiwi. So you have gape, grapes, cherry, uh, several uh, lemon trees, uh, pear trees, apple trees, and so on. So let me show you around the house. Uh, while I'm here, I'll just show you the. You've got this kind of uh, top uh, balcony here, and a couple of. Uh, not quite balconies and not quite Juliet balconies. So you've got a couple of balconies that are uh, big enough to stand on up here uh, for the front facing bedrooms. So on that level there you have the uh, three bedrooms and two bathrooms. So this is your main living area. Nice big space. Plenty of room. And obviously with double doors out to this magnificent view here. And obviously in the summer you'll have the uh, uh, the grape leaves uh, will grow, so that'll be a shaded area. Uh, decent sized kitchen, nice modern uh, look to it, these kind of uh, cream appliances. And unusually, it actually has uh, gas. There's no mains gas in Montenegro, so you actually have uh, the bottled gas propane. So you can switch it over to electric if you like, or keep it as the gas. So this is the living area, kitchen area, and downstairs you just have a little half bathroom as well. There's your half bathroom. A bit of vestibule area here. So I'll show you the bedrooms. So the rear bedroom actually has the uh, ensuite. So decent sized bedroom. So you have two double bedrooms and uh, a single, which has got bunk beds in at the moment. And uh, here's your ensuite. Good enough size. This is the other bathroom. A little bit bigger with a bath and shower. And here you have the little bedroom here with uh, bunks, so a single bedroom. I'll just show you the view from here. So you're actually, I only have a wide angle lens on this so I can't really zoom in too much. But down there in the front is the beach of uh, Igolo. Up in the distance in the mountain, you probably can't see, it's probably silhouetted out, but you have Zvigny and uh, Nivica. And down in front of you, you have Herzegnovi town itself, with the old town and the old marina there. So great views in the distance, you've got Lovchen Mountains. This big lump is uh, uh, Ross, uh, sorry, Lustitzer Peninsula with uh, Rosse directly in front of you. And as I said, you have uh, Mamlor Island there. It's a good opportunity to show you the plot while I'm up here. So again, you have a vine covered area with a barbecue on top of a water tank. There's also mains water here, so it's just supplementary. Uh, the current owner likes to tap into some of uh, the natural water and use that. So again, you have, this is the the terraced area here and you're surrounded by these kind of lovely kind of trees. You're actually kind of uh, and kind of like uh, these lovely uh, 
tiered uh, pieces of land. So you're actually uh, quite close to a couple of uh, uh, olive groves as well here. So this is the other bedroom. So this beautiful aspect. That's not bad, waking up in the morning to that. So two aspects, so you have one looking over the garden and the, the local countryside. And then this one here. And there's your view. Not too bad. Let me show you the rest of the house. Keep waffling on here. Uh, so it's a great opportunity to get something which is a uh, good size, ideal to share with a family. Great advantage, so you can see a bit more of the uh, uh, back of the house here. You've got these lovely cypress pines to the back. Sorry, let me zoom back in again, that will help you. Uh, say lots of lovely kind of uh, fruit trees here. These are lemons. This is the area for the barbecue. So again, nice to have a party here. It's also a water tank, but as I say, it's supplementary to the city water that you have. And these, this is the other grapevine. Let me show you down here. Look at these lovely, juicy, ripe lemons. You have lemons, uh, oranges, pears, satsumas, I believe. Maybe mandarins, not sure. And I'll take you through, and kiwis, thank you. And cherries. So this is the uh, one bedroom apartment. What I didn't point out, maybe you saw it in the video, is upstairs it has a lovely big fat log burning stove. And uh, this one here, because it's a smaller area, has its own mini log burning stove. So it's certainly uh, big enough to, uh, to heat on a, on a cold winter's night. But as you can see, it's December now and not so cold. Little uh, bathroom here with a shower. Nice kitchen actually, uh, with a granite worktop. And again, half gas, half electricity. Uh, little sofa bed there. Lovely big acid kind of a sliding door, so there's kind of picture window here. Then here's your bedroom. So let me just get out. And that's it. So and I'll just kind of get out onto the grounds now and show you the property itself. This is probably an ideal spot if you wanted to add a pool as well. So you have lots of natural waters coming to it. Uh, and as I say, city water too. So he, he can see you actually in within the kind of olive groves. Let me just go back here. This is the property. Lovely big space, a thousand square meters. So in English speak about a quarter of an acre. Uh, so if you love gardening, if you love fresh fruit, then this could be the ideal one for you. Let me just come down here and show you the property from here. So here we are, it's December. I'm Peter at ntrealty.me. If you're looking for a lovely house, ready to move into with guest accommodation, three bedrooms, two bathrooms on the top and then one bedroom, uh, apartments uh, below with parking, lots of fruit trees, please contact me, peter at ntrealty.me. If you like the video, please like it. Go on, go ahead now and do it. Like it, it'd be nice. And uh, subscribe if you want to see the latest videos and uh, leave a comment if you'd like to leave a comment too. Thank you for watching.